Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, January 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman coming to you live um, from stampingwithlisa.com. And my computer is just sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> so hopefully your computer <laughs> is getting me live on here. Okay, well, now I got an ad. So, okay, now we're, now we're on here. Yay, okay. I am on here live. And let me see. I'm a little crooked. All right, so... You guys know I never, ever do cutesy cards, but I'm telling you, after seeing so many cards with this owl set, I had to get it. So we are doing the owl card tonight, and I just love this cute little owl. And I got him um, yesterday, and uh, I put him in the little tree, and I got this idea from my friend Colleen Magnus, and this was her card that she did last night at our meeting. And I thought it was so cute. And if you guys wanna check out her, she did a different technique than I'm doing tonight. So this is her website, Creating with Colleen Magnus. She's also on YouTube. She just started doing YouTube videos. So I loved her card, so I changed it up a little bit and I put him on a little um, ledge in here that I made with ribbon and changed the colors and stuff. and. Um, but it's kind of similar. I love the Aspen tree dies with this. So we're gonna be using the Aspen tree dies and the adorable, oops, adorable owl stamp set that you get for free. This is free with a celebration order of $50 or more. And I'm worried they're gonna sell out because it is so popular. And also we're using the perched in a tree stamp set. So we'll be using this stamp right here to create the background. And then we're using, there's some dotage in here too, as Ruth likes to say. I was just watching Ruth um, a minute ago, right before my video started. Um, when I turned my computer on, I saw Ruth was live. And you guys know I love her. It's Artful Stamping with Ruth. It's Ruth Trice Magnus, just the same as my friend Colleen Magnus. They both have the same last name. <laughs> anyway, Ruth was doing... Um, some cards with the B, the Queen B set, and they were absolutely gorgeous. And I saw some of you guys on there before my video, so if you did not check out her video yet, after my video's done, go check her video out from, from today. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. So this is what we're making tonight. And again, this is from my friend Colleen Magnus, and you can check her out there, Creating with Colleen Magnus. And you can check out Ruth at Artful Stamping with Ruth. They're both awesome. So we're gonna be using this. I've already punched this out of my white um, piece of cardstock. So we've got that ready to go. Also, I had my meeting last night with um, my upline, Faith and Melissa, and we had a swap. So I wanted to show you some of these cards because they are really cute to give you some good ideas. So get ready to, for your camera to take some screenshots if you want to. Oh, I forgot to say hello to everybody. Let me do that real fast, hold on. Let me go back up here to the top. Hello, Annie, hey, Karen, hey, Julie, hey, Cynthia, hey, Beth, hey, Tony, hey, Diana, hey, I think I said Julie and Cynthia already. Let me see, Starla. Patricia, Enika, I saw you over there on Ruth's website. Lala Crafts, Phyllis, that's Phyllis. Rochelle, Jody, Mel, Regina, Minda. Oh my gosh, we got so many people on here already. We've already up to almost 100. Holy cow. <laughs> Where did that happen? <laughs> hey, Lynn. Hey, Annie. Hey, Cindy. Okay, I can't say hello to everybody. We got too many people on here now. All right, but hello, everybody. Hey, Cheryl Adams. I saw you over there on Ruth's um, video, too. I was wondering if that was you or another person named Cheryl Adams. Okay, so let me show you these swaps from our meeting last night. So this one I thought was really cute. This was from, I think, Susan Tinzar. Let me put this up for a second. This one, oh, my gosh, I love this one. This one, oh, who made this? Um... Oh, 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 wait a minute. She didn't put her name on it. Ah, uh, wait a minute. It's on the tip of my tongue. 
Why can't I think of her name right now? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. She's always doing tea stuff. And then this one, oh my gosh, I love this. Look at that little waffle cone. Is that the cutest thing? Nobody put their name on these. I don't know who made this. Um, but that is adorable. And then this one is so cute. This is display. <laughs> so, let me see if there's a name inside. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, this is Wendy Biddle. Okay, so Wendy made that one. This one, gorgeous. This one is Anna Crosby. She made this pretty card. And you know, I'm not a taco fan, but my friend Joyce, Joyce made this one. And everybody loved it, but I'm just not a fan of the tacos. I don't know why. Now, my Upline Faith made this one. I think is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, everything that she makes is gorgeous. And then this one, I don't know who made this one. Let's see. Bobby Yoakum. She made this one with the farm set. This was one of my favorites. This was made by, Le I think, Leisha. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Leisha Moore. Leisha made this card, and I got this die, and I've been trying to do it, but I am not having much luck, so she said try wax paper. So I'm going to try that die with some wax paper. This one, I think, is my upline, Melissa Ellis. Yep, Melissa made that card. And then these were two cards we got to make. We did, like, a shoebox swap. So this was also Leisha Moore's card, which I love. I'm totally going to copy that one for a quick and easy card. And this was Bobby Yoakum's card that we made, which I thought was adorable. And I just bought this stamp set. So I'm going to start making some cards with that. But the punch is sold out until April. So I'm just going to have to fussy cut those hearts. So I hope you like those cards. They are so cute. Love, love, love. Swaps. Doing swaps. Okay, don't forget. Let me see if anybody said anything exciting while I was gone. Um... Oh, Patty Ann, happy Tuesday. I'm so glad that you are watching me live. Let me see. Oh, Diane, first time ever watching me. You subscribed and rang the bell. Awesome, awesome. Oh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Yep. Hey, Ginger Snap. Hey, Starla. Dolores. Hey, Dolores. I just sent you a message. Um... Okay, I think I got everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, girls. Y'all are so sweet. All right, don't forget, this is the card kit for the rest of this month. So through the 31st, if you order $50 or more using the host code. Um, and if you can't find the host code, it's always in the videos, the current one. So always just look at the video real quick. It'll tell you the current one. If you go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com, there's also a host code there. So there's another one. And then if you're on my email list, there's one in the email. So um, you always can get a host code pretty easily by doing one of those three things. So this card was a fun fold card. You'll get the supplies to make three of these. If your order is $100 or more, you'll also get this pack of gems, the polished dots to go with it. But just make sure you use that host code. And don't forget, celebration going on. Lots of good stuff in here, including the owl set. And that's for free. Look at these cute cards. Oh, no. They did the eyes different colors. I did them in blue. But that's cute. And, you know, I didn't like this carrot set when I first saw it. But now I've seen all these cute things with that, too. And then this is my favorite thing in the whole mini catalog, the celebration. I think I have six packs of this paper now. And then I also love, um, I'm not crazy about that one. I just do not like the farm thing, but a lot of people do like it. Love this stamp set. That's with a $50 order. And this is my other favorite paper. Love, 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 love this paper. I'm hoarding it. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> In the country is also very cute. I need to start using that one too. And then Beautifully Happy is with a $100 order. And then we've got some cute paper. I still haven't gotten this paper yet because there's so many other things. And then if you're a host, if your order's $300 or more, you get this set for free also in addition to everything else. And also, don't forget, it's a great time to join Stampin' Up! If you have an order of about $100, this is a better deal 
because you get $175 of product. You also can pick um, your color, blue or white, of this, and you get all that for $129 in free shipping. So that is a great, great deal. So just let me know if you're interested in that. All right, you ready? Here we go. So we've got a piece of five and a half by eight and a half starry, but <laughs> starry ski. <laughs> it's starry sky. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I can't spell. Oops, you don't need that. I'll put that over here. All right, so you really need three pieces of white, the same size, but I have already, so we've got two pieces here, five and a quarter by four. This one is also five and a quarter by four, but I've already die cut it out. So total, you need three. So one for the back piece here that I've done the blue in, one for the front, and then one for the inside. And I didn't stamp anything on the inside, but um, you can certainly do that if you want to. I just didn't really um, do that. And then I've got a little scraps. These are just scraps of white and the blue for the words right here, depending on which words you use. This one is one half inch wide. This is um, five eighths wide. So, and then the length will vary depending on which um, words you use. But um, if you use the same as me, this was one and three quarters, I think. So one and three quarters by a half an inch. And this one was five eighths by one and let me see, seven eighths, I think. I got the eighths. I kind of just actually cut it freehand with my scissors. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not exactly straight. <laughs> I was in a pinch, so, <laughs> so it's a little crooked, but. All right, if you wanna take a screenshot of that real quick, Starla loves the dandy DSP. Me too. The dandy delight. Oh, Sue, you're propped up in your bed under your polar fleece. That is what I can't wait to do because I have a polar fleece also on my bed on the top. And it is my favorite blanket. Um, Starla, it is gorgeous. I think it is the prettiest huge pack so far. Oh, Dandy. So you're not talking about the one in the... Which one are you talking about? Dandy Delight. Is that in Celebration? Or are you talking about this one? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. 48 sheets. I have not gotten that one yet. I should get it. I didn't even realize it was a giant pack like that. Free with the $100 order. That's 48 sheets of 12 by 12. So that's like four packs of designer paper. Good deal. I didn't even notice that. Learn something new every day. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to take off all these post-it notes. And I'm going to tell you about my exciting day today. Well, so last night, well, let me go back. So Saturday night after the video, I went out and got the mail and found my phone in there. So I got a new phone. Except when I opened it, I found that it wasn't a new phone. It was a like new refurbished phone. So I was kind of irritated about that because I thought, you know what? All this trouble I've had, they should have sent me a brand new phone. But it said like new refurbished. So it was supposed to be, it still has a year warranty. So I don't know. But anyway, so I waited till Sunday to do everything. So I go you know, transfer all the information, call Verizon, get it transferred over. And guess what? It has the exact same issues that the other one did. <laughs> so I am like beyond upset about it. But I spent uh, half the day today on the phone with Verizon again. So, oh, you also need a template. So what I did was I took another piece of white, same size. This all They're all the same size, five and a quarter by four. And I used my two and a half inch circle punch. If you don't have this from a long time ago, we don't carry it anymore, but you can use any circle die or punch that you have. This just happens to be two and a half inches. Um, I just think it's so much easier to grab my punch off the um, shelf than get my look for my dies. By the time I find my dies, <laughs> I've already wasted an hour. So 
I do keep my punches really organized. <laughs> All right, and I have a post-it note. So this is one of those all sticky post-it notes. We also have masking paper. So um, I do have the link below the video for the sticky, sticky, sticky post-it notes. So they're sticky, the whole entire thing is sticky. The whole thing, not just the top. Um, but if you um, don't want these, we do have masking paper. I just keep forgetting to buy it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, put this together like exactly how it's gonna go. And I'm gonna put my, I punched this out of the sticky paper. I'm gonna put it right in that circle so it will be lined up when I put it back, okay? So what we're gonna do is take our stamp. So this is the stamp that comes in, oops, there's another one. This one's stuck on there. Okay, we're gonna have to get that off before. <laughs> Okay, so this is Starry Sky, not Ski. <laughs> and we're gonna be inking this up. Let me get some scrap paper, hold on. I need my scrap paper. All right, so we'll just use this one right here. All right, so I've got my circle in place. We're gonna take this stamp that's in the Aspen tree set, or perched in a tree set, sorry. I'm gonna stamp off and then I'm just gonna stamp all over and I'm gonna create a background with that. I probably don't even have to stamp off because it's not a super juicy pad, but you're gonna go right around that circle and it's just gonna give you this really cool speckly um, texture to it. So um, my friend Colleen, she did her card with wax paper and it gave it a cool background. So there you go. So we're just gonna keep going until we cover the whole entire piece. And I'm going all around the edge of this. So we'll have it good and inked up. Okay, hopefully I'm not shaking the camera with that. All right, and while I've got the blue out, I'm gonna go ahead and do the words in blue on my little teeny piece. So we'll just dab that and put that right here. Hopefully I get it straight. Okay, pretty pretty close. All right, so I was on the phone with Verizon for a couple hours and they couldn't help me. So by the time, you know, I, I had to go to an appointment today. So I think I told you guys about um, my uh, visit to the weight loss place. So I went to this weight loss place and they did all this lab work, blood work. And so I went back there today and got the results of the lab work. And then, you know, the doctor came in and talked to me about the results and everything. And um, so see when we line this back up, it'll be perfect and it'll go right over top of that. So that's what we're going to do next. So I found out I was just going to do the weight loss thing and then, um, but I got my hormones and all that checked too. So he said, well, he said, you really need to do the weight loss and the hormone stuff together because your hormones are so out of whack that it will really benefit you to do both. Because they checked my testosterone level and my estrogen and my thyroid and all that stuff. Everything was so low my testosterone level was pretty much zero. Like it was less than one. <laughs> and it's supposed to be like between 17 and 50 if you're like, uh, you know, menopausal woman, you know, in your 50s. So uh, basically I have zero testosterone. And then the estrogen, I take estrogen, the synthetic kind, and my estrogen was still low. So he's like, you need to get off of that because it's terrible for you, that fake estrogen. So anyway, long story short, he put me on thyroid medicine because my thyroid is low. And he put me, uh, he gave me this, um, the hormones, they do it with these pellets that they put like in you. So they make like an incision and put these little pellets of hormones in your behind. And uh, it's supposed to like just absorb into your body that way. Cause he said pills really don't work. So 
All right, so we're gonna sponge this. This is crushed curry. So we're gonna sponge this first and we're gonna leave just a little bit of light area in the middle. So that was um, super painful because they give you a shot to numb it before they do that, but that shot, it's like when you go to the dentist and you get that shot of Novocaine and that shot of Novocaine hurts worse than anything else. That's kind of how it was. All right, so that's crushed curry. And then we're gonna go back with pumpkin pie and just kind of do a little bit more around the edge. Get it really good and orangey. So, and then I also am doing the weight loss thing. So the weight loss thing is this stuff called Wagovi and it's also a shot you get in your stomach and some of you guys might have heard of it. It's kind of like, um, originally the medicine that's in it was for um, diabetes and they found out all these people taking it were losing so much weight. So then they kind of turned it into a weight loss. Um, I think I need a little more yellow. Weight loss medicine. And now it's become so popular, there's a shortage of it. So um, the doctor was like, uh, kind of worried because he said they're they might run out of it just like all these other drugs that people a lot of people can't find Adderall or um, Tamiflu or that COVID medicine or um, what's the other one insulin um, EpiPens there's like a shortage of all these medicines I think I need more orange now too so I don't know what the heck's going on but Anyway, so I got my first shot of that today. I have to go every week, and it's also got B12 in it. And then you get that once a week, and you're supposed to lose like 10 to 30 pounds a month. And it takes away your appetite, your cravings, and all this stuff. So hopefully it'll work. I'll let you guys know, keep you informed. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Love it, love it. All right, so now we're gonna do our owl. Um, and I did this dye in two different colors. I did it in crumb cake too, but I didn't really like it in crumb cake because then the owl kind of blended in too much. So let me read some comments. I know you guys are talking about me. Let me see. Um, oh, Spice Girl's on here. Hey, Spice Girl. Um, share the two. Welcome to the party. Oh, Linda, you just got the same thing done and your testosterone was 0. 0.4. Yeah, yours was exactly the same as mine. I don't have progesterone um, because I had total hysterectomy, so I don't have any of that left. So he said I only needed estrogen and testosterone because I don't have a uterus anymore. Yeah, it was, it burned. It was like, uh, it, does, it was a little bit of torture, but I'm hoping the end result will be great. He said I should, like, within about a week or so, should start feeling like a new person. And um, Starless says, did you ever hear of Bietta? I have never heard of that. I'll have to look that up. Um, children's Tylenol is impossible to find. Queen Lisa is definitely a girl. <laughs> yeah, I have zero testosterone. <laughs> Um, Heather said she's a pharmacist and in 25 years, she's never seen shortages like these. That is crazy. I know it's scary too, because, um, we have a lot of people coming in to where I work at the urgent care center and they can't, they're asking if we can fill prescriptions, but we only fill prescriptions when you're being seen there. We have like a little pharmacy there, but all of our stuff comes like prepackaged. Um, uh oh. Linda went on keto and her body fat has gone up to 49%. Holy more. I know. No more Tillamook for me. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what this Bietta is. Starla, what is it? Sharon says her weight loss program is awesome. No Ventolin. Wow. Hey, Debbie Spicer. Um, 
I know, Novocaine is like painful. Oh, Terry said she'll be happy to eat my share of Tillamook. Um, darn it. <laughs> well, I'm hoping I won't want ice cream anymore because that is my big weakness because I constantly crave sugar. So I'm hoping this is supposed to take your um, sugar cravings away. And it also does something with your insulin. I think it makes it like really slow. It makes it so your body processes food slower and your insulin doesn't spike. So it's supposed to be really good for your blood sugar. All right, this is Memento Black that I'm stamping the owl in. So now we're gonna do some coloring. So I have, let me see, we have Dark Pale Papaya because I could not find any other color of orange in my pile of blends. I don't know where all my oranges went. So we're gonna be using this for his feet and his beak. Um, you can use any color orange you have. This was just the only one that I had. So it's good enough. So that's pale papaya for the those. Then I'm gonna do blue for his eyeballs or her. I think this is, well, it's gotta be a boy because it's got a bow tie. So it's a boy. Um, so this is balmy blue, light balmy blue for the tie and the eyes. He's, he's got pretty blue eyes. Love it. And I don't know if you guys could see the one that I did. Can you see I did, um, uh, what do you call it? Wink of Stella on my eyes and the tie. Isn't that cute? Um, all right, so then I've got, what do we have here? Light crumb cake. So we're gonna do the whole entire thing in the light crumb cake. So we're just gonna color the whole thing. And then we're gonna go back and darken some of the areas. And then we're gonna cut this little booker out. Hopefully you can see this. Isn't he just cute? I probably should use the thin tip around the edges here, but. So that was my exciting day today. And then I came home and made this card. So, and the doctor comes into the office and he's like really super tan. He looks like, um, who's that old actor that used to always be on stuff? who was always tan. His name was George something, I think. Um, he looked like he, he looked just like him. He's pretty good looking, but kind of a little bit short and very tan. And I said, did you just get back from vacation or? <laughs> he goes, he goes, no, I go to um, the Caribbean, George Hamilton. Yeah, George Hamilton. He said, no, I go to the Caribbean to my beach house once a month for a week for a week out of every month he spends at his beach house. I said, oh, which island in the Caribbean? He said, oh, Dominican Republic. And I said, oh, must be nice. So I'm guessing he's making a small fortune off of this uh, weight loss place and those uh, hormones and stuff. All right, so I think I put too much dark brown, but we're gonna blend this, so let me just put a little bit around the edge here. Don't panic, it's gonna blend in in a minute. So we'll just put a little bit here, and then some on his wings. And now we're gonna go back and blend it with the lighter color. And then if you ever get too much and you want to take some off, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that too. So we're just going to blend all this in so we don't have those lines. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Love it. All right. And then... 
little bit more on those wings. All right, so then I'm going to go back and take a little bit off right here where I put too much. So this is the color lifter. This is like your magic eraser that you clean your um, bathtub and stuff with. So if you ever have want to take some color off, just go over it with that and I'll take it off for you. So wherever you want, just rub it. And there we go. All right, then we're going to take some Wink of Stella and do his eyes, make them sparkle, and the tie. So hopefully you can see that it sparkles. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can you guys see it? Try to get it in the light so it sparkles a little bit. Uh, I can kind of see it, I think. I don't know. Let me hold it really close and see if it'll focus in there. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to focus. Okay. I don't think it's going to work. All right. So now we're going to cut it out. So we're just going to fussy cut because there is no um, dye. I just think, oh, there's my ribbon. Okay. All right, so we're gonna fussy cut this. And remember my trick I told you. So you keep your right hand still and move the paper with your left hand. I really need my glasses on. You know, I got my new bifocal contacts, which work great, except when I am trying to do something really intricate like this, I still kind of need my glasses just a little bit. I'm just going to do it without it. So hopefully I don't cut his foot off. You're just going to have to cut a little bit of the wispiness though. Like this part right here, we're going to have to cut a little bit into that. So you won't get quite that. But... I'm really excited because I'm hoping that this is going to make me feel a whole lot better because I'm just always tired and have no energy. I feel like I need a nap every day. And it kind of makes me feel better that now, you know, I, I've gotten my thyroid checked like so many times and they always said it was normal. But this um, place checks your T3 and T4. And that was really low. So my regular thyroid was okay, but my T3 and T4 were low. And I've never had my hormones checked, so. <sighs> it makes me feel better to know that I'm not crazy. All right, so these two go together. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape on this. And hopefully you can't tell it's slightly crooked because I hand cut it. Let me see if I can fix it. A little sliver. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is put this all together. So this one goes on the inside. Like I said, I didn't stamp anything in there, but you can put whatever you like. And let me read some comments again. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, Patricia. Trisha had hip surgery. I'm hoping I don't have to get that. My knee, I'm worried about having knee replacement because my knee, like every time I move a certain way, my um, knee, oh, that's weird. For some reason, my phone just says do not disturb turned off. It should be turned on, but it just popped up and said it's off now. I don't know why it would just turn off by itself, but that's weird. Um... Every time I move a certain way, my knee just starts like crunching and it sounds awful. It sounds like, oh. All right, so this is gonna go down first. Hopefully nobody will call me like right now and then interrupt my video. Um, no good looking docs for me either. Well, he was not my type. I'm thinking he was, Kind of good looking, but he was too short, and I think he was on the um, uh, 
not liking the women kind of doctor, you know what I mean? I think he likes the male people more. Um... I used this stamp set to make my granddaughter's birthday cards. Oh, I bet they loved it. Lovely coloring. Thank you, Nicole. Um, I know this owl is just the cutest thing. I just think the eyes are what get me because, I mean, like I said, I do not like cutesy at all, but I think this owl is adorable. And the name of the set is Adorable Owls, and it is adorable. So um, this is going to go on top. So we're going to put some glue on, whoops, on this. So just kind of stick it all around in between wherever you have lots of room to hold that down. We don't need it like on every single spot, but just kind of in there in certain places. All right, so we're going to put that exactly on top. I cut them exactly the same size, so they'll line up perfectly. And there we go. All right, then our words are going to go on with dimensionals. So we'll put a couple of dimensionals on the back of that. And also on the back of our owl. Now you guys know, like normally, my cards are all flowers. <laughs> I just, I either flowers or ocean. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing I did today. I cut all the paper for my class, for my framed art class. That's going to be Thursday. All right, so let's put this on first. And then I'll show you how I did the little ledge. So this is going to go down at the bottom. Just line it up with that side there. All right, so this is just a piece of ribbon. So this was the ribbon that came in the, the main catalog, and it comes two in a pack. This is Sahara Sand, and it also comes with a green. I can't remember what the green is. I think it's Old Olive, but I'm not positive. All right, so I cut this about, it's probably about an inch and a half, I would say. Make sure you get it straight. All right, still not straight. All right, and then what I did was I just frayed just a little bit off of the edge just to keep it from fraying because if you do that ahead of time, then usually it won't fray anymore. So just kind of grab a few little threads off the end and then cut that. Okay, all right, then I'm going to put some tape on it, like so, and we're just going to put it right here, like at the bottom of the tree limb, so it's kind of like he's sitting on a little tree swing right here. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, then we're going to spray him with some shimmer spray. Get my scrap paper back again. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I just love it. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing. All right, so I'm definitely going to have to be using this owl some more. Because I just think he's so cute. <laughs> These eyes just kill me. Uh, okay, so I hope you loved that for something different from me. I know you guys sometimes think I always do flowers, so I decided to do something different. Um, whoops. Let me read some comments because I know I'm way far behind. Um, let's see. Cute owl. 162. Oh, we've got 167 watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, everybody who's on. Um, Spice Girl says she can't fussy cut anything. What? Several statues in my house. Oh, need shimmer. Yep. Uh-oh, Audrey, you packed your owl set with your Christmas stamps. Oh, no. Well, you can always get another one free if you can't find it. Well, you found it already, but. um, So cute. You have owls in your yard. I have never seen an owl in real life, I don't think. Um... Thank you, Patricia. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff for me. That helps my channel grow. And hopefully, I just realized I got one of these stuck in here. 
hopefully you guys have checked out my um, short videos. I'm trying to do one of those for most of these videos so that people will like see the short and then come watch the real video. So um, hopefully you like those or just like a quickie one minute tease for these videos. So don't worry, I'm not giving up the big vi long videos. Oh, joke, I forgot a joke. Okay, hopefully you're still on here. Are you ready? It's a quickie. Did you know that if you clean your vacuum cleaner, then you actually turn into a vacuum cleaner? Think about it. <laughs> I heard that on a show the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, that's cute. I gotta tell that one. <laughs> All right, so hopefully you got a good laugh out of that and um, enjoyed the rest of the video. And I'll be back on Thursday night with another video. Um, don't forget to go visit um, Ruth on Artful Stamping with Ruth. And also my friend Colleen on Creating with Colleen Magnus. And I'll be back soon. See you guys later. Bye-bye.